to our video on uh, the praxis test focusing on the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem uh, pops up, I mean, quite a bit in sample tests uh, for the praxis, and this is specifically focusing on the praxis. I think it's the, the 0, 0, 6, 1, and that's the, the mathematics content knowledge test. And you get questions like this, which says a length of cable is attached to the top of a 20 foot, uh, 24 foot pole. The cable is anchored 7 feet from the base of the pole. What is the length of the cable? Now before we solve this, um, I just want to think about the idea of this question, which is you have this pole right here, which is um, 24 feet tall. And you have this cable that's, that's hanging down from the pole. Now, if you think about the length of the cable, and you swing it all the way down to the bottom of the pole. Well, that's 24 feet. But as soon as you move away from that point, the cable needs to get longer because otherwise you're turning it, you're turning away at an angle and you will be actually above the ground. Which is why in the Pythagorean theorem, this line, this length right here, is the hypotenuse and it's always longer than the other legs, right? So we have this, this rope here we don't know how long it is, but we do know it's it's seven feet from the pole. So it's a Pythagorean theorem question, and of course the way this works is that we add up the two legs squared, which equals, excuse me, the, the two legs squared right here, these are the legs, and that equals the hypotenuse squared, squared, which is right here. I don't know why I wrote in yellow there, it's hard to see, this is the hypotenuse squared, right? And this is a leg squared and a leg squared. And this goes back to the, the standard way the, the formula is written, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Anyway, so the, the two legs um, are, are what we're given. So 7 squared plus 24 squared has to equal our hypotenuse squared. Well, um, what is 7 squared? That, that's 7 times 7, or 49. And 24 squared is 24 times 24 or 576, we add those two up together and we get c squared which is 625. Now notice they offer 625 right here, but that's c squared. We want to know what c is, the actual length here, so we take the square root of that. So in the calculator you can you know, plug in the square root of 625 or you might just recognize it as 25. And that's because 25 times 25 is 625 and that is c squared. So C equals the square root of 625, which is 25. And as we go through these other problems, you'll see that this is a, a, a pretty standard type of sample. Here's another one. Uh, and this time we have a 26-foot cable is attached to a 30-foot pole. So now we're told the pole length and the cable length. And again, that makes sense that the, the cable this time um, is... Actually, let me just talk about that. So we have this 30-foot pole, and you have a 26-foot cable, which means that it's not going to go all the way to the top of the pole, right? It's going to hang down here somewhere, uh, but it's not going to go all the way to the top. And now if the cable is taut, I should have, let me redraw that. If, the, if it's a cable and it's, 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 you know, placed into the ground, it'll be taut, it'll be a straight line. But it's not going to reach the top of the pole, and that makes sense because if it were to reach the top, it would have to be longer than 30 feet. But we know that it's 26 feet. Now one end of the cable is anchored 10 feet. This is 10 feet. Here's the anchor. From the base of the pole, how high up on the pole does the other end of the cable reach? So we actually don't need this, this 30 foot right here. right? It's not really the side of our triangle. That's just the height of the pole. So what's missing now is, is this unknown, this leg, right? Oops, this leg. So we have a right triangle. Here's one leg squared plus the other leg squared has to equal our hypotenuse squared. So let's set that up. We've got 100, which is 10 squared plus b squared equals 26 squared. Plug that in, 26 times 26, 676 equals b squared plus 100. Subtract 100 from both sides, and b squared is this, is 576, 
So therefore, b is the square root of the square root of 576. And the square root of 576 is the perfect square. It's 24. And there's our answer right there. So it goes up 24 feet on the pole. That's this distance right here. And we have one more example of this type. Now we have a length of cable is attached to the top of a 30-foot pole. Okay, so now we know the, the, the pole again is 30 feet. But this time, the cable's anchored right to the top of it, attached to the top of it, and anchored is um, <coughs> excuse me, anchored 16 feet from the base of the pole. What is, what is the length of the cable? Okay, well, this distance right here is is how far the uh, the cable is. This is the cable. How far the cable is anchored from the pole, and that's that's 16 feet. The height is 30 feet, and here this is interesting because we know this cable has to be longer than the pole. So automatically C and D are out. It's either got to be 25, tw excuse me, think that the opposite way. Sorry about that. Um, if the cable is longer than the, than the pole, right, if the cable is longer than the pole, it can't be, the answer can't be um, 20, 23 or 25 feet. It's got to be bigger than 30 feet. So let me can't undo those lines for some reason. Let me just write them right here. C, it's got to be either C, it's not going to be B or A, those, those are too short. C is 34 feet, I think, and D is 46 feet. But it doesn't, even if I'm wrong, we can easily figure this out. We take one leg squared plus the other leg squared, so it's going to be 30 squared or 900 plus 16, 16 squared. And I'm plugging that in to get 256. Combine the two, and then that gives us our cable squared. It's 1100, excuse me, uh, yeah, 1156. And then we take the square root of 1156, which is 34 feet. And that's the length of our cable, which is choice C. And again, it couldn't be A or B because those are shorter than 30 feet. That cable, I mean, if I just sketch it out, it would probably just reach about here. Right? Those cables wouldn't be long enough to reach the anchor point at the ground. Alright, thanks a lot.